In this workbook, I have movie data for different genres, and within each genre, they're ranked 1 to 25. And from that data, I created a pivot table showing the number one ranked and two and so on. So we've got rank and film in the row labels area, and then the number of Oscars, one for each film in the values area. And to narrow this down, I could use report filters. So I could put the genre into the report filter area. And I could also put actor into that. So then I could just look at the horror films and there's the list. And if I look at the actor list right now, it's still showing all the actors. It doesn't filter. So if I want to see which horror films that James Caan was in, there aren't any. A different way to filter is to use slicers in Excel 2010. So I'm going to just here show all the films. And here we'll show all the genres. So we're seeing all the actors and genres again. And I'm going to take genre and actor out of the report filter area. To use a slicer on the insert tab of the ribbon, I'll click slicer and it shows all the fields from the pivot table. So I'll use genre and actor name. And now it's dropped these slicers onto the worksheet. And this time, if I click horror, it shows me the top horror films. So there are the 25 horror films. And in the slicer now, all the actors who are in that filtered set of records are at the top of the slicer and actors who aren't included in this result are below. So I could click Vera Miles, she was in Psycho. Britt Eklund was in The Wicker Man. If I click one of the actors below that's faded tight, Charlie Chaplin wasn't in one. So with the slicers, it's easier to see which results are applicable after you've used other filters. So there's Anna Massey, Betsy Baker. So with slicers, you can apply one filter and then it makes it easier to see what to choose from another slicer.